What, what did you see in, in those moments of celebration? Oh, a little bit of a relief because I think for the past, you know, four or five weeks, they were probably uh, walking around on eggshells a little bit thinking that they had to win um, to make sure that they were set in the, you know, the final eight. And, you know, when I got here last week and, um, and saw how the boys were acting and how they were going about their business, um, you could tell they were ready for it. And then after the game and seeing the, you know, the celebrations in the fact that they've achieved something that they haven't been able to do for 10 years was great. But in saying that, um, you know, we trained today and it was, you know, Yes, we've got there, but we haven't done anything yet, so we've got to make sure that we, we take our chances in 10 days' time. Hey, Louis, do you see a threat in any way at, with St Kilda? Oh, abso absolutely. Um, I think, you know, when they're on playing their best football, they're really hard to match up on and, and get a read defensively. So, you know, their, their best is, is, is as exciting or as good as, as any side that we've seen this year. Um, and they, they prove a real threat to Western Bulldogs. That's going to be a cracking match. So do you think if they can get through this game, they, they're, they're, a, they're a strong or a viable premiership contender? Oh, I, who knows, to be honest. Um, the players certainly won't be thinking about if we win this game, and certainly the coaches. And, and Ruffy, that's what, that's what experience tells you, especially finals experience, is forget everything that's happened throughout the year, whether it be good, bad or indifferent. This is, this is a whole new ball game, and when you haven't played it before, you're relying on guys like Ruffy and... Uh, and Hilly, those guys who have been there, Hanbury, who's been there before, to really help you um, navigate that, that sort of first game. Um, and once you're out there, once you feel like you belong, who knows what can happen if they, if they win this game. So what's to be shared, Jared, is there is a lot of finals know-how. It's just not as a collective at St Kilda. How much do you share ahead of a, a first final? I guess... Initially, you, you try and get them to understand how the week's going to be different. Um, it's not grand final week where you, you've got a lot of you know different people sending you uh, messages or asking for grand final tickets. But in, in a sense, you you are still um, you know there's a couple of little distractions there, and it's how um, you know they deal with that. But in a sense, we just want them to enjoy um, what will hopefully be a months long um, campaign. Um, we trained today. We had a good session. Um, day off tomorrow, and see how we go for. Um, you know, we do, at the same time, I try not to give them too much info because mm. we don't play for 10 days. So yeah. if we're giving them um, so much advice and info now, they'll be cooked come next Saturday. So are you slotted in, Ruff, to talk to the group or do you to take it upon yourself over the next period of time to get around to individuals? Yeah, a little bit of both. Where, where it's needed in front of the group, I'll feed some info in. But at the same time, if, if guys want to ask um, just off to the side, I'm more than happy to help out. It's... You know, you're just trying to be there for, for knowledge, really, because, as you said, some of these guys, you know, Seb Ross and Jack Billings, these guys who have been here for a very long time, this is going to be their first final, um, you know, next week. And so, you know, it's exciting for them and, you know, you let them go as well because it's the joy on their faces is something, um, you know, this club's wanted to see for a long time. Pretend everyone watching this show and myself and Jared are all playing in our first final this weekend. What's the number one thing you would say to us about playing in the first final? Go out and enjoy yourself and have fun. Um, you've, you've, you know, we, we forget what it's like when we're little kids um, running around kicking the footy and, and understanding how much fun we have. It's no different now. I mean, I was in the room when you were talking to Gears just before and um, how he said that, you know, the, how proud he is of some of these guys and where they've all come from. You just want to see them grow as a group and keep going the way they're going. We've asked uh, King and McClure to run the 